Welcome to the Consulate General of France in Edinburgh and Glasgow and the French Institute in Scotland. In this video for Doors Open Days 2021, we'll walk you through a number of rooms in our building and give a brief summary of the lives of the people from which they take their name. Jacques Tati was a French actor and producer who amazed several generations through the six films he produced. The comical power of his characters attracted spectators, so much so that his 1958 film My Uncle received an Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. The strength of his movies is their ability to imitate the modern life of middle-class families of his times. Thus, his comedies reach children as well as adults, French or not. Here you can see the Edinburgh College HND Costume for Stage and Screen Exhibition of English style and French Revolution inspired costume. Widow of Louis of Orleans, Marie de Guise remarried James V, King of Scotland, in 1538. She gave birth to a baby girl, Mary Stuart. Shortly after James's death, she took on the Scottish crown and managed to marry her daughter to the Dauphin of France, Francis II. Near the end of her life, she found it difficult to suppress supporters of the Protestant religion, who were supported by English troops. She died in Edinburgh Castle, only a few steps away from where we are located today. Emilienne Moreau Evrard was a prominent figure of the French resistance during both world wars. In 1915, when Scottish allies arrived in her village, she described precisely where the German troops were stationed. It is likely that this act alone saved many human lives. She also organized, with a Scottish doctor, a first aid post in her house. At the end of the Second World War, she contributed to the Provisional Consultative Assembly and was awarded the title of Compagnon de la Libération in 1945 for her contribution to the resistance. Pierre Brulez, who was born in 1925 and died in 2016, was an important figure of contemporary music. His compositions were modern, and the hammer without a master and fold according to fold were perceived as strange but pleasant. Orchestral conductor, pianist and composer, he has visited Scotland more than once with his orchestras. Moreover, he has conducted some of the most prestigious groups in the world, such as the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic, and the Cleveland Orchestra, to name only three.
Philip Kiefer distinguished himself at the start of the Second World War. One of the first to join General de Gaulle in London, he created and directed the 1st Battalion of the French Marine Commandos. They trained at the Commando Training Centre of Ochnacari, lodged between Loch Lochie and Loch Archaic, not far from Fort William. During D-Day, his company was the first to set foot on the Normandy beaches. After the war, he served as a politician and published a book in 1948 entitled Berge Vert, which assembled his memories. Maria Theresa Charlotte of France, also known as Madame Royale, was the eldest child of Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. The family was arrested in Varennes in 1792 while they were trying to escape the revolutionary capital. The princess was held captive for three years in the Temple Prison in Paris before being placed into exile, first in Vienna, then Russia, and finally in the United Kingdom, in London and in Edinburgh at 21 Regent Terrace, a few short steps from the current Scottish Free French House. From here, she will travel one more time to Prague, where she will spend her final moments. Sir Patrick Geddes was a Scottish biologist and sociologist who was a major pioneer in urban planning. Firstly researching in biology, it was through his travels that he formed the opinion that the development of communities is biological before anything, and everything can be understood as a relationship between actors and their environment. Before settling in France, he visited India, Palestine and Mexico. He participated in the creation of the Scots College in Montpellier and then governed it. He was knighted in 1932, shortly before his death, 